这座古柏护佑的山峦，四季常青，郁郁葱葱。Evergreen and lush, legend has it that the common ancestor of the Chinese nation, the Yellow Emperor, lies right here, making it a rare cultural landscape in the history of world civilization. Tens of thousands of Chinese gather at Qiaoshan Mountain every year during Qingming. The mausoleum of Yellow Emperor now is a shared spiritual home for all Chinese people around the world, and it also becomes a spiritual icon of Chinese civilization. In ancient chaotic and barbaric era, the Yellow Emperor led the Chinese people planting the grains, doing farm work, picking mulberry leaves, raising livestock, and building boats and carts, creating the material civilization. He also guided the people, creating the Chinese characters and calendar, the math calculations, and the code of sound laws, creating the spiritual civilization. He set up the pecking order, rites and music, official system, and advocated marriage, creating the institutional civilization. Yellow Emperor's pioneering territory is all over the land of China. He made invaluable achievements in establishing the Chinese civilization, thus being. Honored as the Ren Wen Chuzu, Yellow Emperor is the founder and pioneer of Chinese civilization, also the glorious inspiration of the Chinese nation. These daily inscriptions passed by generations are the historic witness to the Chinese people's efforts in inheriting the history, honoring the ancestors, and worshiping the Yellow Emperor. The Yellow Emperor culture, with creation, dedication, and unity at its core, is the foundation of Huaxia culture, also the spiritual icon of Chinese civilization. Recalling the Yellow Emperor shows our gratitude to wise men in ancient times and our respect to the heroes of all times. At the same time, it is the exploration and inheritance of the root of the Chinese civilization. Qingming Day, 呢是这个。呃，祭祀呢，先烈啊，先贤，先祖的一个重要的节日啊，也是中华民族啊，有海内外的传统节日。To worship the mothers, sages, and ancestors, it is cherished by the Chinese nation and the overseas Chinese, for it is embedded with profound cultural connotations. What we celebrate as Qingming Festival today used to be separated into Han Shi, Qingming, and Shang Si. In the Qingming Festival, in addition to worshiping the mothers and ancestors, there are also some activities to join, such as having an outing or some leisure time in spring. The life vitality reflected by Qingming Festival is major, so Qingming Festival nowadays also shows distinct and significant life energy. Among worship events during Qingming Festival, a particularly crucial one is to worship the Yellow Emperor, who is the Ren Wen Chuzu of the Chinese nation, and the qualifier Ren Wen carries special meanings. It is not only filled with the significance of blood ties, but with spiritual, cultural, and ideological heritage. The mausoleum of the Yellow Emperor in Huangling County, Shanxi Province, has been the venue for worshiping ritual since the reign of Emperor Wu in the Han Dynasty, and it has a glorious history of inheriting and passing down the worshiping tradition. So today, when we emphasize that the mausoleum of the Yellow Emperor is the spiritual icon of the Chinese nation, we are meaning to highlight its humanity. From pre-Qin period to later generations, worshiping the Yellow Emperor has always been a tradition of the Chinese nation. At about the Qin Dynasty, there was already worshiping ritual. Although it was not a nationwide event yet, the worshiping at the mausoleum of the Yellow Emperor today can probably date back to the time of Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty. So this ritual has been a continued tradition and is a substantial event for the Chinese people to remember their ancestors and inherit fine culture and spirit. Chinese people, this spiritual garden, Chinese people, this spiritual garden, its essence is what? It is that it is a Christian. Christianity is a religion. 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 Christianity is a religion.
Within the spiritual home of the Chinese nation, the core is loyalty and filial piety. Filial piety means to be filial to the elderly, to honor one's parents while they are alive. And to perform ancestral rituals for the elderly who passed away. Through worshiping ancestors, people deliver their remembrance. Worshiping is an important ritual which emphasizes solemnity and procedures. It aims to help the people get detached from secular prosperity, to maintain calm, and reflect on the origin of life. What we worship along the chain of life can be traced all the way back to our ancestors and even to the universe, where all siblings and all the objects in the world are born from the universe. That is to say, we are all deeply connected. Hence the saying, "People are all my compatriots, and all the objects and I are one kind." This is universal love. That is not only loving one's own family, but also loving all the people, caring for and cherishing all the things in the world. Therefore, Chinese people emphasize patriotism and filial piety, which are the unique values of the Chinese spiritual home. And ancestral worshiping is a ritual that conveys all these values. When overseas Chinese come back to find their roots and reconnect their ancestors, they may lack the platform for conducting the ceremony. In this case, going to the mausoleum of the Yellow Emperor can be a good way to honor the ancestors. For the Yellow Emperor is the common leader of the Chinese nation, the initial ancestor. That is, he is a shared ancestor of all the Chinese people. If you cannot come in person, delivering the worship online is also acceptable. Ancestor worshiping is very important for overseas Chinese, which may strengthen the blood ties between overseas Chinese and their homeland.